Well, Troy, a little bit of a break. Everybody's had one. Um, but coming into this race, obviously this is the big race for BMW. How does the bike uh, feel like it's going to go here at the Nürburgring? Well, to be honest, it, it's not feeling too bad. Uh, obviously, Bruno was our best, best result so far this year. And the bike was had quite some steps different to what we had previous in the year. Uh, so the boys, although most of us had a holiday, there was a few of the guys at the BMW who didn't have no holiday. They've been working away on the dyno and... Uh, we've got a test team now as well that are going out and doing some laps and you know, we've had Steve Martin out on the bike riding it and Richard's been out doing a few laps as well and uh, to be honest they've made some very good, very very positive steps with the engine. Uh, not so much power but the connection with the, the engine for me. Uh, it's much more one to one and, and the engine's in my hand so it's, it's what I've been trying to find throughout the year but it just wasn't possible with the specification of the engine so uh, so you know, now I'm riding the bike how I want to ride it, um, I feel like no, we can, we can push the bike a bit now. So it's not lacking in power, no one's ever doubted that, it's more, it's more in case of like fine tuning and smoothing it out? Uh, to be honest it was more the connection, um, you know, in all the hairpin corners where we've off the throttle for a long time and we break and then we come out of the corner, that first opening in the throttle we had a jump and it's uh, very hard for your confidence to, to actually open the throttle when it jumps because you've got to anticipate what's going to happen. So. Uh, now it doesn't jump. Uh, now I can open the throttle and it actually it comes on nice and smooth and I can actually keep turning the bike. So, and it's, for me, it's where the only place we've really been struggling with the bike for the last few races. Uh, the speeds, it's pretty much there. Uh, acceleration, it's not too bad once we're in like third, fourth gears. But uh, it's, the, it's the bottom gears that, in the bike that was making it difficult. So I said, especially here, there's a lot of first gear corners in that new section and... Uh, it's the best it's felt, so uh, I'm actually enjoying riding the bike out there in those bad conditions considering, but it's actually a really good test for us to ride in those conditions because you have to be extra smooth on the throttle and uh, the bike's working. Are you surprised, you were always in for the long haul, but are you surprised at how quickly things have come together? Because like you say, you are knocking now on the door of podiums. Uh, actually, no. You know, I believed in, uh, in my own ability to, to tell them sort of what direction I thought we needed to go with the bike. And I trusted those guys and, and know their ability, and they've reacted really quickly. Uh, like I said, our biggest step really is probably having our test team now uh, that actually goes and actually does a proper test for us. Where before we'll try and stuff at the racetrack ourselves, and, and it's just not an ideal place to be trying it. And we don't really give everything a proper test because we, we give it a few laps. If it's not right, then we we go back to what we know just to make sure we qualify. So. So, uh, no, fingers crossed, it's uh, going to keep going. You know, like I said, the bike's made a big step, and it's only because of the guys doing a lot of work behind the scenes. And uh, like I said, I'm still, I still feel like I'm riding the bike as hard as I can, but the bike's making it a lot easier to go fast now. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed, it's going to be a good one. If you can't win here, do you feel as though before the end of the season there is still a win to come? Well, you know, our, our realistic goal is the podium. That's our next, that's our next step. Uh, you know, breaking into the top ten was our first goal. Uh, we're pretty consistent in the top ten since the beginning. Uh, top five, you know, we're, I think we're in the top five now pretty much uh, in every lap, every session pretty much. So our next real positive goal would be to go for a podium. You know, and, and even to get on the podium, it's going to be a hard call. You know, it's, uh, you know there's, there's six, six bikes, six riders out there who have all won races before and... Uh, I feel our bike's equal, equal to them, and, and I'm probably as equal to them, so we just need the right package on the right day. But uh, no, we're not, we're not sort of looking too far ahead just yet. We're keeping our feet on the ground, and uh, our, our goal is next year. You know, that was our, our whole, this year was really just to get some good information, iron out all the bugs, and, and do exactly what we're doing, slowly improve and increase our, our times and uh, get closer to everybody else. The gods stole a victory from you last year, so maybe they'll shine on you this year. Well, yeah, it's, uh, you know, this is one of my, my favourite tracks. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of combination of a few different circuits. You know? It's got a bit of Philip Island, a little bit of Laguna Seca, you know, a little bit of Bruno. So, uh, and they're all tracks that I really enjoy and go well on. So I think uh, no, if I'm comfortable on the, on the track and the bite works for me, anything's possible. Best of luck. Cheers. Cheers.